you, Giuliano. I think the name Volta is a very great name, absolutely. <laughs> One of the most brilliant ideas of Giuliano da Empoli. You can imagine the, the other, the rest of now. The jokes apart, I think, is a very good occasion. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for uh, your presentations, for the great uh, speech about seven, in seven minutes about your life. Uh, and uh, I hate math, but I know this is uh, it's not... Uh, Correct in my side. I think uh, your uh, your idea, your um, very interesting project, also in the direction of 2020, is um, an absolutely uh, great challenge for uh, for uh, everyone. A good uh, experience of a startup um, created uh, in a field particularly important in this moment in Germany, in Italy, in Europe, as in migration. And uh, congratulations um, for the, the, the good, uh, good project uh, in the education uh, in France. Uh, we hope not only in France uh, uh, about the, 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 the best grade we did uh, in, in, the, in the high school and the universities uh, in uh, your country. But uh, we are here to present a very innovative uh, project uh, with um, a very big problem. The big problem uh, is Europe today. The very innovative idea is Europe. Uh, you can imagine this is a contradiction, but it, this is reality. At 4 p.m. we <coughs> began, we, we begin the, the next European Council, the third in one month. The agenda is the same of the last two. Migration, growth, future, and we have a lot of expectations by the meeting, uh, from the meeting uh, of uh, uh, chief of state uh, and the state and the government. But at the same time, we know in the last period, Europe show the limitation, the problems, the, 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 the contradiction uh, in, uh, in uh, is uh, project. So where is the problem and where is the <coughs> opportunity? We can absolutely transform Europe from Europe of the father in the Europe of the son. Not because we don't accept the Europe of the father. I think Europe of our fathers is the most incredible and great political transformation, political uh, challenge in the history of the last two centuries. It's, it's incredible. The count countries in which the people fight each other, one against other, become, after 70 years, an incredible place of peace and of prosperity. Europe of our fathers it's an, was and it's an incredible incredible um, revolution. But we know the time of remembering is finished. We love the past, but we need the future. We love this revolution, but we ask a new revolution. Because the world around the, around the, the people around the world, in this moment, is absolutely angry. And so we need a Europe able to invent a different approach, a different vision, a different ideal. If you think about Lisboa 2000, you can imagine the um, definition of Europe uh, as a country very innovative, very brilliant, very dynamic. Stop the, the, the brain for one moment. Think about the last 16 years. Really, from Lisboa to today, Europe was the most brilliant, dynamic, and innovative country, innovative continent around the world. No. We transform ourselves in a place with great opportunities, but also with too much bureaucracy. And what, what is the problem in my personal position? The lack of policy, the lack of politics, the lack of politicians. 
I know it's not easy image a presentation of civil service in Europe and speak about the importance of uh, politics. But I think there is a connection, a link between uh, two things. If Europe come back to very important role with a political approach, I think we can finally come back to build a Europe of the son and not only a Europe of the fathers. This is the goal of our generation. This is the goal of our countries. This is the goal of our members of parliament present here. This is the incredible and very emotional challenge for everyone. But to arrive at this goal, we can absolutely create a lot of initiatives. The first, obviously, is uh, in the relation between uh, governments. We can work together. We can work together. Also, if sometime we think it's not easy uh, share the, the, the same ideas or the same positions or the same documents, the same papers with other colleagues, this is the time of responsibility. Nobody alone could save Europe. It's not easy for, for me. It's not easy for my colleagues. It's not easy for the rest of the European uh, um, head of state and of government. But the first thing is create a good climate between the, the, the governments to come back to very efficient conclusions uh, at the last of the European Council to implement the decisions of European Council and also, this is my personal position, also to delivery. Because uh, if you think, uh, Giuliano, our first meeting, our first uh, initiatives together uh, in the city of Florence and not only, we discussed a lot about the necessity of delivery as a part, crucial part of political approach. Without delivery, politicians become members of association, uh, member of club, yeah. They discussed about uh, the, 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 the uh, philosophy. It's important philosophy, but political approach requires a delivery. And in in this in this field, this is a moment very complicated. Think about migration. I think it's a good idea. Create a startup. Create a common values. Create a sense of identity. Create a um, approach in this uh, in this uh, in this sector. Just to make an example, I give a gift last time, last uh, council ten days ago, uh, to my <laughs> colleagues uh, the copy of Foca Mare, the movie won in Berlin the first prize, and this was a message that very incredible narrative about Lampedusa, about a doctor in Lampedusa, about a sense of community and the human values in Lampedusa. So it's important to create also a climate, a philosophy, an approach. But if we write in a document, we must proceed in hotspot relocation retards. It's impossible to implement only the hotspot and not relocation and returns. So first thing, not very good, not very sexy, not very interesting. Implementation and delivery the decisions of European institutions. This is the first. But we need also a common uh, political answer for the time we will live. Uh, this is a, a time very, very peculiar because uh, we, we have for the first time, maybe after a lot of years, a situation in which Italian government is stable and the rest of the world not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but nobody believes in that. Also, Italian people. And I think, I think also Italian prime minister don't believe possible that. But I remember the, the, the first discussions in this legislature about the transformation of institutional system in Italy. 
I remember just to make an example. Ah, it's very important to use a benchmark uh, Spanish electoral system. Two years ago, eh? Not yesterday, two years ago. And the reaction today is clear. We have a problem in the stability in Spain, in Ireland. We have a system in which Greece voted three times last year. In Portugal, the first party arrive first, but don't create government. We have big coalition in a lot of countries, also in Germany and in Italy. In Italy is a big coalition particular, but Italy is always particular. And we need, and we can discuss about, I think Slovakia achieved a result just in the last hours, if I verify well, but the point is Italy is, in this period there is a, a stability in Italy and we have a transformation of public institutions in direction of stability. Electoral law, reform of constitution, okay. But at the same time we have around the world a sentiment against policy, against politics and against politicians who is not only in Europe but also just to make a little example, in the United States of America, in which the, the, the reaction against the traditional <coughs> forms of representatives are very strong. So the second point, after the, the discussion of formal decision and delivering of the European Council, is that it's possible today create a new system <coughs> who combine together a new approach in the leadership, in the parties, in the social community, not only in, uh, for politicians, <coughs> and the time of interconnection of today, and the time in which the decision must be quickly, speedily. This is not easy. Because from the United <coughs> States to the single leader countries around the world, there is a situation of tensions. The third point is there is a new generation. Giuliano da Empoli used the expression kids. For those guys, kids. Sorry. Obviously, it's a grandfather now. Huh? Uh, yeah. In Italian expression, a sua insaputa. Ma, <laughs> but uh, this is an Italian uh, traditional uh, consideration. <laughs> but there is a new generation. Giuliano wrote a lot, um, Federico knows very well, uh, the, the, the books of Giuliano about uh, our generation. Giuliano maybe was the first to, to, to image in the 90s a, a role for the generation, uh, the people uh, born in 70s, 60s, <laughs> 70s, 70s. But our generation is not a new generation. There is a new generation of European people who believe possible create a different strategy for the future of our continent. And I consider that a very great thing. Our mission today is not continue to be, to, 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 to be the, 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 the new generation. We are not a new generation. We are the generation of the middle. But we can finally transform European institution, institutions in direction of a fresh direction, a fresh uh, approach. This is our mission. If this is true, obviously we can invent something different because it's important Italian government achieve the results not only in internal sector, but also in the symbolic initiatives. For example, Ventotene initiative. In Ventotene, the, the island in which Spinelli wrote the very important manifesto about for Europe, freedom, for the freedom and unity in Europe. In this gorgeous island, we transform the former jail, the, 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 the ancient jail in which Finally, not in the jail, but Pertini, Terracini, and other also in the jail. We transformed the jail of Santo Stefano in a place for students, 
to create every week stage initiatives, uh, opportunities for European uh, uh, elites of the future. We can absolutely transform the, 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 in, uh, the very important event in 2017, the remembering uh, of um, 60 years of signature of treaties in Rome, in a great opportunity to discuss about our common values for the future. But we can and we must also, and particularly, invest in the protagonism of the new generation. So Volta, despite the name, <laughs> could play a very important role in this direction. Because, and uh, this is my message, uh, if you believe in politics, uh, you know politics is not uh, a simply uh, collection uh, of tweets and uh, posts of, uh, on Facebook. Let me use this expression because I'm considered the, 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 the man, the politician with more uh, presence uh, in the social media. Tweet and Facebook, absolutely important and crucial in this moment, in this time, it's ask us to, to, to be very brief, to be very strong, to use simplicity and simplification. <coughs> But politics today is a different thing. Just one example, the fight against terrorism. If you imagine the fight against terrorism could uh, um, a fight uh, with the police, uh, with the security, with the cyber technology and stop, uh, you are on the strong direction. You are on the strong way. The first fight against terrorism is education in our suburbs, in our Malier. The first fight against terrorism is create in our suburbs, in our Malier, place of freedom for the new generation. Opportunities to avoid radicalization. An answer against the terrible attractive attraction of the extremism. Obviously, we need the police, we need the army, we must give a very strong answer, we must destroy Daesh, not with the words, not with the projects. But at the same time, if you think about the last events in Europe, you know the people who killed us, who killed our generation at Bataclan or before in Charlie Hebdo, or in the Museum of Tunisia, or in the um, resort in Ivory Coast, or in Burkina Faso, or the university in Kenya, and the school in Peshawar, in the church in Nigeria, in the synagogue in Brussels, or in uh, Copenhagen. The people who killed us, in a lot of uh, cases, grow up in our cities, not in Syria. So, if we think this is true, the sentiment in the, of the reaction in uh, Twitter and Facebook is very clear. We must destroy terror. Yes, OK, I like it. But the real answer is build a strategy. A build a strategy with the education, with the volunteers, with the, 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 the people who invest for every euro invested the, in uh, security, one euro invested in culture. For every euro invested in the police, police, one euro invested in the volier, in the suburbs. I think we must combine together. To achieve this goal, we must study. We have to study, study, study. It's impossible to create a new generation of politicians and of citizens without this approach. And I think the goal of Volta, of Vol, Volta please the name, <laughs> must be create purpose, ideas, occasion of shares. 
if we propose ideas and we share some uh, common values, you are really people able to build an European citizenship laws in the last period in the ways of bureaucracy and of techni technocratic approach. So, uh, civil service is a good idea. It's the first. It's not uh, the last, obviously, I hope. It's the first and uh, very important because um, if you um, read the new the <coughs> presentation of Odysseus, uh, you can verify a very interesting uh, um, proposed and also numbers uh, numbers uh, about the, re the, the relation uh, in the single countries uh, in the sense of identity of Europe. It's interesting. Uh, you can uh, you can underline uh, the provocation of Federico and Giuliano and the rest of France uh, to use Odysseus because I use expression telemaco and so this is a traditional. <laughs> <laughs> I was mayor of Florence and he was. Uh, um, uh, Deputy. Deputy mayor, no, it's not a, it's a big. It's the boss for culture. Two years. The only two years in which he worked in his experience, in his life. Only. Work. Oh, it's a good expression. But every every day, if I use the one expression. He used the opposite. So uh, Odysseus is not uh, a very great strategy of marketing to explain the price, simply the opposition uh, to the power, right? the, <laughs> the uh, rebels, the, the revolution man, uh, Julian Lampoli, and you are responsible to follow him, absolutely a great <laughs> responsibility. But jokes apart, I consider Odysseus a very great project. I consider very important that the next presentations. I cannot say the next will be about maternity, so I cannot say, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> but will be very important because we discussed today of migration uh, and we don't discuss about the crisis of demography in Europe. And also the different strategies. For example, in this case, France is the leader with respect to Germany and Italy. This is my personal position. Without an investment in maternity, in about uh, th there is this uh, book, a very interesting uh, maternity is PhD, is uh, this expression of uh, an Italian uh, mother. Uh, and uh, I cannot say, but um, will be presented in May, but uh, I cannot say today. In May? Uh, okay, I cannot say. Uh, uh, I consider very important a presentation about new ideas and also share some different uh, approaches from the single personalities, single experience in the in the single countries. So uh, I'm really happy. Today is the first day, the, the, the fourth presentation. The project is good. We signed this agreement with François Hollande last uh, Mar last uh, week in uh, Venice. We presented during our semester uh, in the uh, second half of 2014 a good uh, job in the uh, direction of civil service. But most, more important than civil service is the idea. Volta could be a place of freedom for European uh, young, for European uh, students, for European professors, for European members of parliament, uh, for European uh, citizens, because uh, these uh, is the real uh, challenge for us. In a moment in which some, somebody think, someone think uh, it's possible to build the European sense of identity and the European citizenship <coughs> with the walls, we remember our real vocation, our real mission is create a sense of European citizenship with the bridges, not with the walls. Maybe when we, we, we saw the Berlin walls fall out uh, in 1989, I think uh, some of us, some of you maybe was a little kid. Maybe, I don't know if there is something who is born after the Berlin walls uh, here. 
I know. <laughs> okay. It's a symbol. Thinking in this moment, there is some leader who believe possible to build the, uh, the, the wall. This is a symbol of a terrible change. So we come back to common sense of identity of Europe. I'm absolutely confident that this could be a great opportunity. Italian government will be in this uh, challenge as protagonist. I think European Socialist Party must be a player of this strategy, but I consider possible the victory only if the civil society and the level of young people on the level of students and the level of professors play will play finally this incredible incredible uh, role and if this could be possible i think the idea of new europe the europe of the sons and not only a europe of the father become finally reality and not simply a dream also because if we don't invest today in a radical change in europe Europe risks to become a nightmare and not a dream. We believe in the Europe, we love Europe, and we think this is the time to transform Europe in the more, the Europe of the sun, in the more incredible opportunity for the next generation. Thank you so much for this event. Thank you so much for uh, your presentation. Thank you so much, Giuliano and all the people. The next will be about maternity, but uh, I can say. Thank you.